Oh, by the way, I should start stacking up my water reservoir before the Fukushima wastewater contaminated my Dinkum water. Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. So today we are going to show you some of the 5 key features in the mods that I've been using to improve my overall quality and experience gameplay in Dinkum. So the first mode that I am going to talk about is called Vark Crafting. So traditionally you are crafting your items one by one and this would be such a hassle if you need a lot of items to be crafted in a short amount of time. So in order to do this, you can have the mode into your plugin and then just press page up to the items that you wanted to craft and just press craft. So you will notice that the items have increased to the amount that you are desired and the ingredients used up will be the same as the amount that has been multiplied from the base values. So this helps you to save a lot of time and also craft to the item amount that you are desired. The second mode is called Dungeons and Diagrams. So in this mode, you can visualize the rooms for the treasures or the ores in the undergrowth deep mine visualized in the map so as you can see over here there will be a gray out box which shows under your map when you are near or have reached to the area that allows you to go to the area quickly and to find the treasures or the ores within the room so other than that, we also can visualize the indicators that will show you either the items and also the statues that is located in these dungeons. So once you have reached to the locations from the area indicated, then you will be able to find the items quickly. Besides that, it also allows you to find items like ruby, and also other statues quickly in the normal deep mine as well so as you can see we have reached the place where the ruby is located just five meter away from us over here and you can just quickly pick the item up and voila the third mode that i have been using is called dig up treasure automatically so depending on the configuration that you want, you can set 10 tiles away from you or 30 tiles away from you depending on your likes and needs. You can set the amount of the tiles that is away from you in order for the treasures to appear automatically once you have used the metal detector. So let me show you what it means. Okay, so you can see that all the stuff, the treasures, has shown onto the ground level once I have used the metal detector. So any items that has uh, treasures buried within the tiles within 30 tiles away from me will be shown up immediately. So you can even use the configure files to set up to use the shovels and to dig up the treasures manually if you like. Besides that, even the fish like the river bus which is under the town will also be shown and available for you to collect as a loot once you have used the metal detector. So the next mode that I am going to talk about is called gatekeeper. Traditionally, the gates will have to open manually either by right clicking it as open or close when you have to walk through the gate or you have to pass through the gate by just jumping over it. So in order for the gate to open automatically when you just walk through them, you can use the gatekeeper and just walk through it just like that and the gate will just open for you and close as you just pass through and left behind the gate. So the last mode that I am going to share to you guys is called for what is worth. In this mode, if your cursor moves around to each item, you will visualize the item's worth when you sell to NPC. 
The value shown here is only the base value. It is not in consideration of additional bonus like the commerce license and also NPC like Jimmy that gives you additional sell value bonuses. So for the items that are stackable like the old key, you can visualize the amount that is total up. Uh, for example, over here there is total of 12 old keys. So if I just move half of them away, you can visualize the amount that is total up from the half that has been taken away. Okay guys, that's all for today. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and the most link will be listed down in the description below. You can check them out if you need any of the modes to increase your overall gameplay experience in Dinkum. So be sure to follow the requirements to install the modes in order for the modes to run perfectly in your game. So be sure to like and subscribe to my channel if you wish to see more of PC gaming related content. So I'll see you guys soon. Take care, stay safe and peace. Oh, by the way, I should start stacking up my water reservoir before the Fukushima wastewater contaminated my Dinkum water.